Now to question number 69 of NSV 2019-20. It is a multiple correct option question. In this question, an electric dipole is placed inside non-uniform electric field and we are supposed to find the various options which could be possibly correct. In the first option, no net force, no torque. You know, when electric dipole is placed inside the uniform electric field as over here, then the angle between P vector and E vector is zero. And in such a situation, the net force on the dipole, the net force on the dipole happens to be zero and even the torque is also zero. And this can happen, this can occur only inside uniform electric field and hence option A is incorrect. Now let us check for option B. There should be a net force, but there should not be a torque. And you know, this is possible only inside non-uniform electric field, which has been produced by a point charge. This is a point charge. It has produced a radially outward electric field and the dipole has been placed inside this radial electric field. Here minus Q charge is closer to the source charge and hence it experiences more force than the plus Q charge and hence there is net inward force. However, these forces they act along the radial direction and that is why that is why there is no torque that acts on the electric dipole. Thus we can conclude when an electric dipole is placed inside non-uniform electric field then there exists a net force however there is no net torque only inside non-uniform electric field so this option is correct for this option c there is no net force but a torque you know again this is possible inside uniform electric field inside uniform electric field when you place an electric dipole at an angle theta which happens to be the angle between p vector and e vector not equal to zero then the net force on the dipole will be zero however there will be torque acting on the dipole and the torque will be equals to you already know this is equals to p cross e and hence option c is correct only if an electric dipole is placed inside uniform electric field and hence in this case this c can be rejected now let's check a net force there should be a net force and also torque act on it and this is possible only inside a non-uniform electric field which i have shown for the case of a radially outward electric field produced by a point charge in this case you can see this minus q charge will experience a force in the radial direction and this force f1 is more than the force on this charge so there is net force on the electric dipole which will be definitely along the direction f vector equals to f1 vector plus f2 vector and of course and these two forces they do contribute for the rotation of the dipole and hence this option d is also correct in few solution you can also find this option to be correct and the argument happens to be like this here is non-uniform electric field represented by the relation e vector is equals to x e naught j cap and if you place an electric dipole the way it has been placed over here then the net force is zero torque is also zero but the idea is such a such type of electric field do not exist and the reason being if you try to find out the line integral of electric field over the closed loop this will not be zero and hence option a is incorrect always thank you